global demand. Telecom sector, telecommunications in general and 5G technology in particular can enable growth and offer job opportunities. Required spectrum auctions will be conducted in 2022 to facilitate rollout of 5G mobile services within 2022-23 by private telecom providers. A scheme for a scheme for design-led manufacturing will be launched to build a strong ecosystem for 5G as part of the production-linked incentive scheme. To enable affordable broadband and mobile service proliferation in rural and remote areas, 5% of annual collections under the Universal Service Obligation Fund will be allocated. This will provide and this will promote R&D and commercialization of technologies and solutions. Our vision is that all villages and their residents should have the same access to e-services, communication facilities and digital resources as urban areas and their residents. The contracts for laying optical fiber in all villages, including remote areas, will be awarded under the Bharat Net project through PPP in 22 and 23. Completion is expected in 2025. Measures will be taken to enable better and more efficient use of the optical fiber. Export promotion. <clears throat> the Special Economic Zones Act will be replaced with a new legislation that will enable the states to become partners in development of enterprise and service hubs. This will cover all large existing and new industrial enclaves to optimally utilize available infrastructure and enhance competitiveness of exports. Atma Nirbharta in Defense. Our government is committed to reducing imports and promoting Atma Nirbharta in equipment for the armed forces. 68% of the capital procurement budget will be earmarked for domestic industry in 22-23. Up from 58% in 21-22. Defense R&D will be opened up for industry, startups, and academia, with 25% of defense R&D budget earmarked. Private industry will be encouraged to take up de design and development of military platforms and equipment in collaboration with DRDO and other organizations through SPV model. An independent nodal umbrella body will be set up for meeting wide-ranging testing and certification requirements. Artificial intelligence, geospatial systems and drones, semiconductor and its ecosystem, space economy, genomics and pharmaceuticals Green energy and clean mobility systems have immense potential to assist sustainable development at scale and modernize the country. They provide employment opportunities for our youth and make Indian industry more efficient and competitive. Supportive policies, light touch regulations, facilitative actions to build domestic capacities and promotion of research and development will guide the government's approach. For R&D in the sunrise opportunities, in addition to efforts of collaboration among academia, industry and public institutions, government contribution will be provided. Energy transition and climate change 
the risks of climate change are the strongest negative external externalities that affect india and other countries as honorable prime minister said